So, saving the best for last, the sawtooth wave. <laughs> you got sine, square, triangle, then the saw. Man, it's almost like naming like the primary colors on something. <laughs> So let's see what we can make with just only a saw wave. After we thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers dozens of classes ranging from UX design, video editing, game design, music production, and many more. I've been using Skillshare for the past couple of months and I really love the layout of this website. It's super easy to save your classes and find new classes that interest you. I've been playing a lot of video games lately and that got me really interested in game design. So I've been taking a class by Greg Wandra, Unreal Engine 4, Intro to Game Design. Skillshare is super affordable. It's less than $10 a month. And if you sign up as a premium member, you'll get access to unlimited amounts of Skillshare classes Classes and also have additional features such as offline viewing. Skillshare is offering a two free month trial for the first 500 people who sign up using the link down below. After that, you'll be charged $10 per month. Go check out Skillshare and start learning new stuff today. I can go... I'm thinking house. I'll be honest. I kind of want to do house. Okay. I guess that kind of worked. 128 BPM. Obviously, I'm going to be automating this. So, it'll most likely be in its separate chain. Okay, so we should have like a chord progression. Uh, make this octave higher. I'll set these unisons at seven. Yeah, detune them the way I like it. And lower the sustain, increase the, uh, no, increase the hold. And probably will, I'll drag an envelope to the cutoff, make this half, so. I'm trying to make like an orchestral-like type of synth sound, because I made a preset like that. Let me grab it for a moment. I mean, I could just change the shape. Yeah, I'm just gonna change it. That sounds so cool. This is like some flume stuff. Wow. Now as for the sub bass, it should be pretty straightforward. Oh wait, I can actually make something kind of... Yeah, we could just put a filter on it. And just move the cutoff a little bit. Now as for the kick. I'm not sure what the key of this track will be, so I'll just leave it as a MIDI for now. Let's try B flat. Okay, I'll duplicate this again. This one will be a snare. I'll just leave the effects on it for now. I'll put like a vocoder as usual. Yeah. I think that should be the intro, you know? It'll start with something like... And it just pretty much repeats. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. So build up will definitely start somewhere here. Okay, so let me set this up. Intro. Introduction, bass comes in, some melody, build up, then there'll be a break somewhere here, and the drop. Okay, so play the chord, freeze the track, create an audio channel. There you go. Let me put an auto filter on this thing. Okay, um, where have I made a bass? Hey, that could be it. Yeah, actually this could be it. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm gonna create this weird riser thing. Let's put it here. Let's put it here. Yeah, so basically all I do is put a macro on the detune and also I'm gonna adjust the pitch bend. I'm gonna it's probably gonna start right here straight away. Show automation, show automation, new lane. So pitch bend right here. It's gonna go all the way up. Macro right here. Gonna go all the way up. Actually, you know what? I'll just put the cake. Yeah, I'll make a really short one. I might duplicate this and create like some weird distortion thing. Okay, so now it's time for a drop. Something like that. Gotta quantize all this. Okay, maybe I'll play, play chords. I'll probably want to change this. Yeah, make it more. Yeah, I'll put some OTT on it. Okay, let's now do the basic house beat. Do 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 do. Okay, so I'm gonna take all these notes and drag them on an octave lower to create a bass line for the chords. Kind of, that, kind of like that trap idea, you know? You start low, then the next part you make it an octave higher. It gives it that like, oh shit, it's getting hard now. Okay, I'll copy the bass here. I'll just delete all these notes. Okay, I'll duplicate this one. I'll just delete it. I'll just delete this automation. Obviously, this is way too loud, but... Yeah, something like that. I need to make a hi-hat. So. Something like that. And I have to side chain the reverb to a kick. So how am I gonna do this? Well, I probably should run freeze this. This is gonna be the kick. I'm gonna call this side chain. Let's see if I remember. Okay, so here's the reverb. Turn on the side chain, put it here. I'm gonna go with this method. I really like this one a lot. I feel like I need to add something here, you know? Do 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 do. Something like that. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. I think we're done. It's something, I guess. I'm gonna call it a day. If you like what you see, leave a comment down below what you want to see next. Make sure you punch that subscribe button, hit the bell, all notifications, check out my other videos. Let's hear it.